We're taking these drinks and everyone, welcome to the We Are Air podcast. We this is Air. Duck. <laughs> I am here with Javi and Jake. And we have a very special guest star today. We are here with the Higgs. Mike. No, we're calling them the Higgs. Well, now. Higgs. The Higgs. That's the nickname. Mike's Higgs boson. Mike, we're here with Mike. No one ever calls him the Higgs, Higgs but we're going to pretend like it. Oh, that's right. actually pretty good. The yeah. Higgs boson. Yeah. yeah. Don't tell anybody that. The gu- that actually makes sense for you, he too, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Are, you, the Higgs boson. Uh, are you concerned somebody's going to find out? <laughs> I'm going to have to kill all of you. <laughs> so, if, for those who don't know, the We Are Air podcast is going to be a podcast where we talk about movies, entertainment, video games, whatever the fuck Shorty we want Mac. to talk about. Mostly Shorty Mac, on, surprisingly. Uh, if you watch the videos, we talk quite a bit about it. But you, you like to if know? you watch the videos, you'll find out. And if you really look up Shorty Mac and watch those videos, <laughs> you'll, know. you'll really find <laughs> out. I'm intrigued. Uh, you, you won't be. Yeah. It will well, destroy you. It might be your thing. Who knows? Wait, we're not talking about hip hop, are we? Uh, <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I guess he could be a rapper. Well, I mean, know, I thought. <laughs> He might rap at him after. You know what? I don't think he ever raps. <laughs> but you know, I thought maybe, maybe, it, maybe it was like a too short Mac Miller. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. He is just a straight up. Like there's skinhead. none that'll fit him though. That's yeah. why. Oh. This is a porno thing. Yes. Oh, he's okay. he's driving a Hindenburg down there. Dude. He's <laughs> fucking huge. Like, he's always uh, crashing into Zeppelin. God. <laughs> Hot white girl should be called Zeppelin from now on. That's For pretty good. Life. All right. Well, we're going to start with some movie news. So we're a little bit in the Christmas spirit right now here in the apartment. We got some Christmas lights up. We had some hats oh, on. Holy uh, shit. What is yeah. all this? The heading of the news is going to be Deadpool, the PG-13 version wow. that's getting released yeah, soon. They finally uh, what? released December. the title. So what? what? They're going to release it on December 12th and run it all the way to uh, New Year's Eve for the 12 days, or Christmas Eve for the 12 days of Christmas? From my understanding, it's going to be 12th. Through the twenty fourth, yeah, so twelve days. Sorry, yeah. I, I misspoke. I yep. said New Year's Eve. Uh, well, let's hit the Jake twelve break. days of Christmas. Yeah. So Mike, yeah, for... breaks, but just let's just Jake break it for a second. Slow the truck down just a little. Sorry, Bob. No, no, no. <laughs> it's not a reference to you. It's just it kind of is. You know, I guess, but it is because awesome. everything references everything. Yes, PG thirteen version. Of yes, they have filmed enough footage to make a new version of it, a PG thirteen version of Deadpool two, Shoot. which oh. is going to be a play Thanks. on The Princess Bride. So it's literally <laughs> going to have. Uh, Deadpool yeah, reading yeah. Fred, Dude, Savage, Fred Savage, the story in the yeah. house. Yes. That's awesome. But it's going to be called Once Upon a Deadpool, is what yeah. we're looking at. Will be Christmas themed, as we know. I'm intrigued by it. I actually kind of want to go see a theater. Who's time? in? Yeah, I, I definitely want to. Um, they're still running with the same story as Deadpool 2. It is. But they've went back and edited, edited it to an extent as best they could to fit it for PG-13. But it, it's gonna be tough battle supposedly like there's at least it. eight segments of uh fred savage in it which is enough to do the wraparounds just like the original princess bride did okay. and try to play on the fact that princess bride did a genre film within uh you know a modern film so they're doing the same thing all i'm hoping is that they fucking give wow. deadpool an old yeah. man cardigan and a fake mustache just like peter fuck had oh, that, that, cool. that, 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 that would be cool that. here's the nice. picture yeah, you see, Fred Savage. <laughs> you gotta. No, yeah. is it's the same guy. He playing Fred Savage, or is he playing? No, Kevin? Fred Savage is playing Fred that, Savage. That's, well, no, yeah. but it's Fred Savage playing himself. No, it's simple. He's going to be kidnapped by Deadpool. Okay. There's no other way to do that. He's, he's going to reenact his favorite. Movie exactly. Movie. Yeah, Deadpool kind right. of be like a serious Fred Savage fan. Because the whole yeah, time yeah. he has to be trying yeah. to get out of there. That's what makes yeah. it funny. Fred yeah, Savage has to be inspired. leaving. <laughs> yeah, Y'all, we're going to have to be bad boys for life because they have announced Bad Boys 3 is finally That's coming true. out. Oh, so, shit. all right, Javi hides from Bad Boys 3. Yeah, what do you have against reacts. Martin Lawrence and Will Smith and Good Times Have I? Oh, I got against Mike Lowry, okay? All right, yeah. I just didn't like, I didn't like Bad Boys 2 at all. I, I like the first one. one. Everyone first likes the first one. Because it's good. Bad Boys for Life, Bad Boys 3. What, how do you guys feel about this? It's announced. It's going to happen. It's been yeah, trying to happen for both. years. I just hope they get the same guy that did Deadshot, you know, from Suicide Squad. Oh. 
This oh, guy acted, he acted just like Will Smith. <laughs> that movie, he, he did. It. He did. Yeah, yeah, he was he spot did. So on Will so Smith. Smith. This is the continuation of Jake not realizing that was Will Smith in Suicide Squad. So, and we have literally, just like we him, try to convince yeah. him every time it's Will Smith That's and we never you know, can. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Shredder. Did you, so, so, Bad Boys 2 I never saw. Is it any good? I loved it. Uh, it's terrible. I, I heard it's like seven hours long. I like Tan Leone. Bruckheimer. Bay production in the history of the world. Is Shut up, awful. The Rock. And I, so wait, wait, wait. The Rock is good. Yeah. Was Con Air? That's a Bruckheimer. Yeah, but that was I love Con Air. I like that one. But Michael Bay's not directing that this. That was the fucking gratuitous 360 shot in this movie. Yes. Probably not. Michael Bay is not directing that one. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so scopes around for ten minutes. <laughs> Hello, who is this? <laughs> is there going to be a scene of Ben Affleck? I feel like they'll get to be in Bad Boys 3. You know what's fucked up? As I was editing this video, I realized Ben Affleck and Liv Tyler were in Armageddon, and then they were in Jersey Girl. Yeah. And I always thought that was that was kind of they weird. They thought it's in the same universe. You know, uh, Armageddon's in the Bioski universe. God, I hope so. Yeah. Jay and Solid Bob actually had a cameo in it that they cut. They were be astronauts. <laughs> Do you remember when they showed up in Scream 3? Yeah. And you were sitting in the theater like, well, fuck oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> this movie just went up a notch in my book. Puts it at notch negative one. I'm going to put that right in the viewer scooter, yeah. That's yeah. right. Cannon. Yeah, exactly. So, awesome. my, my well, was the Bad Boys 3. I loved it. I loved the idea of it, but I, I was really hoping that... Okay, you know when they said they were doing the 21 Jump Street meets MIB? Oh, yeah. God. That I wanted so MIB good. meets 21 Jump Street meets Bad Boys... Meets Beverly Hills Cop. Oh, oh shit. They're all men in black. Oh. Mash them all together. Yeah. And that's what their squad car is. That's what their new squad car is. The Actel Plaza. Bumblebee. Oh, wow. I'm done. Well, technically, the Hasbro yeah. universe yeah. does exist in theory. <laughs> Supposedly, they're trying to bring together Transformers, GI Joe, and Monopoly. And it's the Hasbro thing. What? Yeah, yeah. Monopoly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we got to talk about Star Wars news. We all love Star Wars spoilers, correct? Hell yeah. So, <laughs> so kind of talking about the uh, time travel oh, aspect. Yes. Matt Smith. Okay. Who is one of the Doctor Who's has been cast in Episode Nine? Yeah, and has, has anyone yes. read what they believe he's going to be? I'll give you a hint. Do it. Oh, he's going to be really? fucking young Palpatine. They think he's going to be a young Palpatine. Even though Ian McDermott yeah. hasn't fucking aged a year Wait, since what? like the original since Return Wars. of the Jedi. Yeah. yeah. Wait a second. Yeah. Wait, he's yeah. going to be playing Palpatine. Now, Episode Eight introduced the idea of flashbacks with Luke and Kylo Ren, so they're thinking it might be a flashback, is what we're looking okay. at to his time as a. A uh, young uh, politician on Naboo, I guess. Well, we talked about this before also. Harrison Ford was listed on the cast for episode 8. Yeah, they probably cut it. They probably filmed it and cut it. It was probably a flashback. Well, that's how they're doing Leia. I'm yeah. sorry. That's how they're doing her he, stuff. And that's still disappointing why they just went and kill her off. Right why now. didn't they change episode 8 so whenever they he shot the fucking ship and she flew out in the space. She didn't marry Poppins back in that shit. She could have just died there and it would have worked fucking great. Yeah, because I'm Ryan Johnson and I want to do everybody <laughs> for a loop. Er. God, force powers, bro. And you've never seen them at work. I mean, Except I was a, in the first because she only trilogy. Has feelings. She's an empath. Even in, in the every theater, scene though. She's in in the first trilogy where there are stormtroopers. You see her powers. Well, she kind of does know where they're coming. No, no, no. Not just that. They never hit anything. Well, yeah, but the guy hits his also. head. He hits his head off the door. What are you talking about? Yeah. Although, <laughs> <Boom. laughs> sand trooper or uh, sand people do hit. Right. <laughs> Although this is too accurate. Darth Vader is after his own children. Why would he hire stormtroopers to kill them? Actually, right. actively kill them, <laughs> like make them fear for their lives. Yeah, that's true. He didn't. That's know. actually a good. Because one. he says, "Sister," and you know, in Return of the Jedi, he goes, "Your feelings go to sister." Obi Wan was wise to hide her. And from then he got really mad. Don't talk about that. <laughs> yeah. I saw what we kissed once. I didn't even know. <laughs> do it. Do it. Turn it back out. And then Obi Wan's in the back. Do it. Yes. I'm sorry. Did you just kiss her yourself? again? Do it. Do it. Put your penis in her. I fucking love doing. Every do it. Every time you think of incest, I grow short. What was that one day I was texting you and just kept Bro, sending? It was, it was do it. it. <laughs> I had a seriously bad day last week. I went off to Doug. I was just like, fuck. Everything and they're like, that's right, Jahab. Just <laughs> That's right, Jahab. Just give it to your anger. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Like do it. it. So listen, if you're having a shitty day, just tell people to do it. All right, Avatar is getting not one, 
not two, not three, but four sequels. Animated movies? Nope. No. Consecutive are, been sequels. Forever, they right? have. They have been working on the first Wait, two are do done. you mean the James Cameron episode? Yes. yes. That's what oh. I'm talking about. And this week, they released Great all the titles. Sure. So the first one is Avatar, Who Gives a Shit? <laughs> the second one is Avatar. Wow, ten years later, I still don't care. Uh, uh, Avatar three, Sigourney Weaver, Big Blue Cat is hot as shit. Is so and uh, Avatar four, they should have cast Stephen Lang as Cable in Deadpool two. That's what I think. Um, I like Brolin, but but here's the real time. That's funny. The Way of the Water, the Seed Bearer, the Tolkien Rider, the, the Quest for Ewa. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Why the quest for Ewoks? The keys. <laughs> I did. I heard that also. I said the keys. To... I said the quest for Ewoks. The, the quest for Ewoks. But it should be the quest for Ewoks because if he brought it full circle Bro. and you went to fucking Endor. Yes. Oh! Yep, the no, planet every, moon of Endor? You won every fanboy over. Let oh, me shit. tell you. Not just Sigourney Weaver. Oh, wow. Zoe Saldana. Zoe Saldana. Yes. Big blue cat. Yup, nub. Yup, nub. Yup, my nub. Yup, my nub. Yup, my nub. Yes, yup, yup, yes. Yup, yes yup, please. And let's eat that seat. Wow, I never had a moment of fantasy like that until now. Thank you very much. Uh, Her avatar what oh, about Avatar nice. 2? Two Avatar 2 Fury. Spin in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to so call it NCIS because every show that's popular and procedural. On yeah. TV is NCIS. Generic crime <laughs> show television. On one of those shows. He's on NCIS. Yeah. Yeah. They need to oh, it's change. Oh, NCIS. You just okay. called it, though. They need to change well, yes. it to Avatar New York, Avatar Miami, <laughs> Avatar <laughs> San Francisco. <laughs> Avatar Kashyyyk. Yeah. yeah. Indoor. Oh. So I got the biggest news of the week, guys. And I think you guys are going to be blown away. No one knows about this. Okay? So prepare <gasps> yourself. <gasps> one of the biggest <gasps> filmmakers... In the world, wants to bring back a classic character we haven't seen from the 90s. Did you guys hear about this shit? Yes. Tyler Perry wants to make Sister Act 3 yeah. with Whoopi Goldberg and Tiffany Haddish. Finally! I should have fucked her. Yes! Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Tell the story, yeah. Mike, about the time Tiffany Haddish that. wanted to fuck you. I'm not doing that. Please, You've Mike. already said it, and I'm not taking it out, so you might okay. as well dig in. So I go outside. She is so fucking hot. Okay. I know, right? And it's like, it has just rained or something. Uh -huh. The ground is wet. Oh, and I'm like, but there's no clouds. <laughs> And I, and I ask her, I'm like, hey, did it just rain? She goes, why? I'm trying to get your dick wet. <laughs> and I said, yeah. She goes, okay. And I said, hold on, let me go and make sure. And I'm like, like, you know. So she uh, offered. She's so like, she well, offered. if you got to call your girlfriend, then, then don't worry about it. Oh, my I God. Like, oh, fuck. And then I got home, and I told my girlfriend about it. She was like, you should have fucked her. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, no, I didn't. But I could have. Yeah. So everyone. Yeah, him too. Yeah. yeah. Him too. Yeah. Yeah. So it was an orgy situation? No, no. Just so you know. Times. Like, like, yeah? Like, several times she offered this. Damn. This is not to disparage Tiffany Hatch at all. We were both very handsome, attractive, <laughs> and kind, and wonderful people. And she's cool yeah. as shit. And yeah. she's, she's just cool. out doing whatever she's she wants to do. Yeah. So I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. She's just trying to have some fun. Yeah. yeah. So I wait. Totally been down you could have fucked her. You could have fucked her. Hobby. Let me get this. If that was even clearer. To me, I would fuck her. She would have fucked me. Sure. Yeah. All right. I kind of want to get And you'll never get a chance again. That's not true. All right. When you're going to get a chance, she ain't coming back through. She's she too may. big for that shit. I might bump into her. Uh, you're going to have to wait 15 years when she's on I the downswing. I'm going to her again sometime. And you know what? In 15 years, I'll look like this. That's true. You don't age. You are the Nicolas Cage of the group. It's ridiculous. Black don't crack. Neither do Mike. Right. I, I found out your superpower. If you get you in front of a microphone, dude, you get, like, real, like, aggressive. It's crazy. <laughs> what you guys don't know is Mike is, like, a super timid guy. He's just like, no, nah, everything's cool. But you get him in front of a microphone, he's like, I could have fucked Haddish. Yeah, in fact, I did. <laughs> well, let's Save talk it. about hot chicks that we'd like to fuck. Uh, did you guys watch The Thank Babysitter? Yeah. Did you watch The Babysitter? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, wow. wow. Woo! Yeah, wow! He was my babysitter as a kid and not a psychopath. So that's you know what? Even you know still, what? if she was a psychopath and she was my babysitter, I wouldn't give a fuck. I was, I'd be like, yeah, fuck yeah. Love, dude, pray so Satan. Me. Fuck I was, yeah. I'll, I'll just join you. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like that. I was like that. Pray Satan. I'm here. Uh, Hail so Satan. So we're going to talk about The Babysitter, the Netflix movie that was released, I guess, last year. Yeah. When did Jeez. When did you see it first? Uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago? Yeah. Well, and I told them about it. He told us about it last week, week and said we should watch it. When he explained what the first death scene was, that's what kind of sold it. Now, I didn't know. I watched it this morning. I didn't know 
how much fun it was going to be. It is a black comedy, not the Medea kind. But it is a black <laughs> comedy. Not like white well, chicks. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's very much in the line of like anything that you, if you ever enjoyed a Barry Sonnefeld movie, which we talked about Men in Black earlier. Yes. Uh, movies like Idle Hand. Yeah, uh, yes. it's very much in line like with a, those. Tucker and Dale versus yeah. definitely that's yeah. a big one. Great. So this um, movie has a very upbeat, happy, bit sadistic tone. And the whole time I'm watching it, I kept thinking it was a James Wan or a, whoever directed uh, the Final Destination movies. I okay. thought it was that guy who did it. I can't think of his name. And it ended up being Mick G. Mick G. Yeah. Mick G. Yeah. G directed. Yeah. Angels. My, yeah but like, I was blown away that it was a Mick G. movie. He hasn't done anything since Terminator Salvation, as far as I know. Remember when you were a kid and you used to watch music videos and you were all pumped when a Mick G. one would show up? Yes. Like he did, like he did. Uh, Spike Jones. He did Javi's favorite song. Uh, Somebody yeah. once told me. Yeah, okay, so did he direct Mystery Men also? No, I don't think no. he did. No. Oh, that was okay. before. But All Star he... was a Mystery Man yeah. soundtrack, yeah. and the, all the characters. And that's what pumped us up for yeah. the movie. And by the way, Return to that movie, it's that pretty was, fucking good. I love good. Mystery Man. I yeah. went saw movie theaters. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty yeah. good. So, what we think of the the Babysitter, okay. Jake? Jake, go ahead and explain oh, what how you explained to us getting into the Babysitter. Well, pretty much as as you said, it's a dark comedy, and it starts off like any coming of age what? story. Where, you know, it's a young kid being taken under the wing by the babysitter who he has a crush on. And she looks out for him. Like, he starts getting bullied at the beginning of it. And he thinks he has a special bond with this chick. And it turns out, yeah. We all does. had a special yeah, bond with this chick. she wants his blood, not yeah. his semen. And that's, <laughs> and it all goes downhill from there. And it was weird as I was watching it. I couldn't help feeling that it felt a lot like an Edgar Wright movie. Yeah, but it felt like an Edgar Wright movie. I literally yeah, felt, though, trio. like there were parts where I was just like, that's straight from uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. There yeah, were like, moments where I was like, that's pulled directly. Yeah. But I was okay with it because I liked the characterization <sighs> that they did with the fact that everyone was goofy as fuck. They like, played their parts perfectly yeah. because it was uh, stereotypical for each one of them. Yeah, like you had it, the fucking dumb cheerleader. Yeah, you had the fucking the crazy black guy. The classic guy, guy, guy. horror so, movie tropes, except they're the bad guys. Yep. The jock, and the victims. The jock right. who got off on killing people. Right. He was awesome. Yeah, he was like, fucking. He hilarious. was cool as shit. Yeah, like yeah, whenever right. he turns it around, he's like, "You go beat the fuck out yeah, of that kid." I'm like, exactly. "He's trying to kill him." Come on, little buddy, you got <laughs> this. Oh Don't let God. that happen that, next time. That guy reminded me so much of Mike. Actually, <laughs> yeah. I can see if Mike was gonna kill a kid, he would kind of be like that. Yeah, kind of yeah. like fatherly and like whoa, big brotherly whoa, 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 and stuff whoa. like that. This kid's been picking on you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was about to cut your stomach out. <laughs> But you gotta beat his ass. <laughs> you know yeah. We're gonna make this fair. Yeah. And then the deaths were pretty damn good. I thought they were they're fun it. and creative and stuff like that. I thought that bringing the, back the cheerleader. Actually, I did not like the jock's death in it. Yeah, he kind of went out like kind of like, shit. Oh, he just got I his neck caught on it. But like, that's perfectly. the thing is, the, the, I it was fitting because how else was that kid gonna kill him? That's true well, because, because he had to kill himself. Yeah. I like whenever he's just like, "Dude, I can't outrun you. You're the you're the quarterback." He's like, well, "That's not fair." Yeah, exactly. Yes. But I did like how each of them had a creative, interesting death, except for maybe Soon C or whatever her fucking name was down with the spiders. But the movie, like we were talking about the tropes, it sets up everything, <laughs> and it so blatantly sets up shit like the knife in the dishwasher, oh, yeah. oh, and then yeah. having the uh, no, the roof there. of the the treehouse in the front yard, where you're just like, "Oh, now they're in the treehouse, the tree like." But the way it paid off that stuff, that's what made the movie really work for me. Let's talk about Chris Wilde was the uh, was girl's Wilde. dad in it. Remember, he had his own show on USA Network, Wait, for what? the Chris Wilde show. No, he's the one in that movie. He's the one who had the Chevelle that he fucking flipped. That I was Chris Wilde. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. That's Chris Wilde. He was Wilde. hilarious. Oh, shit. He was funny because he's cleaning it yeah. and he's like spraying it down, but it's like <laughs> yeah, by his yeah, dick. He's like, he's like, he's, <laughs> he's like it's my dick. <laughs> I did not even recognize Chris, oh, he Chris was, Wilde. Wow, but that's what I'm saying. Each character in the movie was a character. No one was bland. No one was uninteresting. If they were on screen, they got enough to their character there. I was like, I'm Shut entertained as fuck. Yeah. That, and then and when they... Was nobody's going to win. He's like, anymore. you know what? You're still super fucking hot. Yeah. Like, even, you mean that? Hmm. Fuck you. Fuck like, you. I care what you <laughs> But when she came in the room and blew her fucking head off, I was like, I. it's a movie that makes you go, yes! Yeah. It yeah, makes you no. pull down. It made well, me do a pull up. Everything and I can't. Everything building up to the truth or dare scene mm -hmm. where the first kill is made. Absolutely. It's like, okay, you, you can tell something's about to happen. Like, everybody's uneasy. Now, here's the thing. Spoilers. When you were watching it, how did you feel the first time? Were you expecting it? Uh, okay, so the first time, I thought, yeah, okay, so this is advertised as a movie where there's a babysitter that's in his dad called that wants to kill his kid. And watching B, I thought, no way. 
No, nah, it's going to be like one of those things where like they fake a death and then the kid gets his courage up and... I can't get with a girl by myself. Yeah. This is the girl or something and she's like, actually, I'm too old for your kid. I just wanted to like boost <laughs> I, yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I, it was a fake death. This yeah. is Johnny. You know, he's my friend. No. It's like definitely a push. Not. No, they're murdering the shit. Uh, did anyone else feel like she looked kind of like the uh, girl from uh, American Beauty? Mia. <laughs> yeah. What's the girl from American Mina Beauty? Savari. Yeah, she looked like Mina like Savari. Mina Savari and Margot Robbie had a kid. A little bit, yeah. I was thinking Ooh, Margot I would Robbie like to watch and that happen. Yeah. Yeah. So just making sure we all fell in love with her, right? Each and every yes. one of us found you found like, like even you, Javi. Even me. She was a super sweet, like she was like Margot lady, Robbie and Jillian know. Jacobs. Even at the end of it, whenever she okay. was dying, because spoilers, who gives a fuck? Were you guys not she just kind of like? Did you watch the end of credits? Yes, I did. No, she I came know. back. Okay, but charismatic wise, were you not I on page she with her? Oh uh, yeah. yeah, 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 terrific. And I have changed my answer. Britta from Community and Margot Robbie. Baby. Okay. Yeah. Whatever she is, she looks mousy and it's cute. And yeah. she got that Taylor Swift mousy going on. I know everyone hates Taylor Swift, but I don't. I don't hate Taylor Swift. Shout out everyone else because you haven't dated her yet. I yeah. haven't yet. But we all get a chance. <laughs> by the way, yet. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, we all get a chance with her because yeah. the way so she's going Lady through. Names music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I've never been a fan of Taylor Swift. However, she's got to put an explicit warning on her album when she dates me. So what was the overall thought of the movie as a whole? What did you think, Mike? I enjoyed it. I would say, like, out of eight stars, maybe six and a half, seven? Mm-hmm. I liked your eight star. Eight. I, I kind of actually no 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 no. We're doing the eight star review because I like that. Really? So so would you, Jay? I had a sixteen star review. I was gonna go All right, out of, out of sixteen, what would you get? A twelve? Don't All right. tell me how to fraction. And and Javi, how are you? Multiply it by twenty-five. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put the middle between these two. I'm gonna go with the ten star review. Well, no, fine. We're going to twelve stars. <laughs> I'm going to give it about ten stars out of twelve. Ooh. And I'm going to give it five knives in the head. Oh, um, best ready. Yes. Yeah. So the reason I want to bring this up is because it was a word of mouth movie. You told us to watch it. Yeah. You you caught it. But the reason I'm going to talk about this is because it brings up something we were talking about before, which is something that died a long time ago, and we all kind of miss. So if you all want to take a drink to uh, movie rental stores. Oh. Rest in oh, fucking peace. Blockbuster B- video. B- wow, blockbuster. what a difference. Yes. Miss you. Clank. Clank. you know, I had two yeah. fake accounts at Blockbuster. I had an account named Mike Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> Not even fucking kidding. How did you get a fake account at Blockbuster? I Look at him, man. Huh? He was born looking like And my <laughs> oak addled boss was always in the room, in the back room, doing coke. At Blockbuster? With some chick we called Stardust because she was always doing coke. Did she so, work there? I she mean, just yes. showed up when he was doing oh, coke. Because well, either would make like sense. the second chapter of <laughs> Kill Bill Volume 2. <laughs> it does. Except while they were in there doing that shit, we just made fake accounts on cards. And then I went all over the DF Dub, dude. I had such a great PlayStation collection. I got bound on VHS. Wait, well, you never returned. Oh, oh. Wore out the play pause button. With the <laughs> that one in. part of the DVD was just, it looked like there was no, black ink on it because it burned <laughs> out. Black ink. Tracking. Oh, Dude, no. No shit, bro. I got like 90 PlayStation games that way. Just rent them. Mm-hmm. Never go back. I'm not Mike Hawk. I don't live at 16 by Bastek. That's not even a real yeah, fucking house. I'm Mike Hunt. So, going to the movie rental place, uh, the first time, I want to hear you guys' experiences going there and what you enjoyed about it. So, we'll start with Hobby. I think the first was, uh, not, it wasn't a major chain. It was just like a local place. It was like, kind of like a, the bodega of video rental stores in my Spanish Harlem area in the neighborhood that I grew up in. It was called Latin American Video. (laughs) Set the scene. Do the music. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Tell me what's going on. Brian and Bushy Tail's child of eight walking into that store to a bachata beat just sousing my way through the door. I'm like, hola, hombre. Hola, hola, videos. We're the best music. Tell me sangre per sangre. Remember, that's the first time I've ever seen the triple X version. Oh, so like, you immediately the curtain, ran to right? the... Like with the curtain. It, had oh. one, it had one curtain. The door was about eight feet tall, and the curtain was only three so feet So that's tall. your Dude, first thing you noticed was the triple That's how they should X. sell yeah. that Vin Diesel movie. <laughs> <laughs> the the Vin funny. Diesel movie! Very, uh, Grandma's very got right. three! <laughs> Goddamn! I mean, every triple X movie should be behind, behind the curtain. curtain yes. Go buy so the triple X section is what you notice, and this is the wonderful thing about movie rental stores is they had them sorted by genre and horror, comedy, action, action thriller, and Javi's favorite, 
Vin Diesel section. So I remember going back there and seeing like those giant movie porn cases that all came in. I remember seeing the title Big Tits and Monster Clits. Whoa. Oh. Like yeah. real triple X. Those are like legit triple X. I never read it until I was like, oh. Did I'm you gonna... try though? Did you bring it out and like show it to your mom and I go, I to go back with My mom so much to go, Jake, get the fuck over here. How big, how monster were the clits and how big were the tits? I don't know. I remember going home and thinking, I remember all that walk home and like, what's a clip? Do they mean clip? Is it about monster movies? Is it a typo? Do you still lay in bed at night awake wondering <laughs> what that is? <laughs> so, uh, what so, is the clip? <laughs> the mystery will never be solved. No, no, and even to this day, have that. you found the clip? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just making sure. Jake, what was your first memory going to do it? Uh, very similar to Hobbies, not in Spanish Harlem. Uh, it was Vietnamese Arlington. <laughs> and, uh, and, Wait, that's uh, true. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, so we had a place called Take It Home Video. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes! 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 Was and, it really uh, called that? Yes! Yeah, it was yes. Take It Home Video. Oh, hell yeah! Okay. It was all neon, fucking neon pink, neon mm-hmm. purple, neon blue fucking signage, like fucking total 80s, uh, much like my background photo in school uh, pictures. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was the same fucking scenario. They had the fucking triple X area where you can go behind, you know. Now, was it. Mom in... and dad weren't in the same aisle as you. are like, well, we're going to look at uh, the Frankenstein kids movies. Yeah. <laughs> and then you would scurry with. <laughs> Yeah. To the back behind the curtain. They heard the beads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so because they always had the gypsy beads yeah, up. Yeah. Exactly. Like I'm walking to the goddamn fucking head shop. And so right. Did you go through like Gary Oldman and, and the professional just like. Did, yeah. And when you got <laughs> back. Everyone! <laughs> and when you got back there, did you just hear. Ah, as the boobies and the clitties like, were all out? Boobs, 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 no, my parents had to come get like, me. The, fuck the, the fucking the, the sixteen year old kids behind the counter didn't give a shit if a fucking five year old walked behind the beach. Do it, bro. Yeah. And yeah. I, you're like, yeah, they gotta learn somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Better them than me. How about you, Mike? What was your first experience? Uh, two day video. Ooh. The Colony, Texas. Um, I, man, we used to rent horror movies, right? Like, mm-hmm. it back then, you know, like like Beetlejuice, Critters. Ghoulies. Yes. You know, like fun. <laughs> fucking the shit. The gremlins. The gremlins. So what was your first experience going into one? Uh, it's hard to tell. I don't know. We went we went a lot, like every mm-hmm. Friday. Uh, and that's a good point. That do you all was, remember every that was weekend that so was like the my thing. First, I think my first Nintendo rental there, I think, was Mega Man Two. Mm-hmm. And goddamn. Whew. I love the shit that I so that's the other thing too is you could not only just rent VHS, but NES games, video games yeah. too. That and was then eventually huge. SNES games, mm-hmm. and I rented a lot of them. We eventually got a uh, we moved to Louisville. We had a two day video nearest that turned into a blockbuster that turned into a uh, it's a the Domino's now. Yeah. yeah. So so as a child, like you were saying though, pizza for me renting two movies, yeah, getting a pizza and some Coca Cola on the weekends that yeah. was the weekend. We and the, Mr. Gems would watch TGIF, and then we'd watch a fucking two-day video movie. Mm-hmm. So, Do you remember so whenever I, eventually you could go in yourself and pick out the movies, and there was no parental supervision, and you could pick whatever you wanted? Oh, yeah. Do your yep. So you go in and get whatever movie you wanted, and you'd always kind of, to be badass. Here's the one that we always got was uh, Faces of Death. Yeah, That was the one we rented over. <laughs> And over and over again. Yeah. Yes. Parent, yeah. If you went to one of those old school fucking movie world yeah, places, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's eighty percent. Eighty percent of what? Faces of death. And now what it's kind of Grady versus training. Oh yeah. Time, so. Yeah. Eighty percent was fake, and but we oh, yeah. would read stuff like that. Like Mike was saying, we would get the horror movies, <laughs> but like that that experience of going into the movie rental place. Of going in and the ritual of looking and whatever it was, picking out the boxes or picking up the tags or whatever it was and take it to the front. That is gone now. That is dead. 
The next generation will never get to experience you that. You got the tag off the hook. Yep. You took it up there. Then they gave you the thing. So, they had it. at Take It Home Video, it was cars that they put in the front of plastic slips, like uh, book covers at a library. We yeah. had poker yeah. chips that were on little hooks that you pulled off, is what yeah. it was. Yeah. 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 I went to that. They always had empty cases behind each movie. That was Blockbuster. That, uh, no, I remember. Oh, uh, okay. uh, Blockbuster model was. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, there's a case behind this that means they have something in the back there. Yeah, it's so much better back then. <laughs> and it was just it was. fucking easy. Okay, they got three of this one. They were going to get this one. Mm-hmm. But if, if I saw more of really wanted to see that had nothing behind it, I was just like, what? Well, it's better because they started, like, getting all super cheap. Yeah, it was a plastic process. shit. It was like, uh, how many puppies are Wait, shots, So, whenever you go to the movie rental place, you know, eventually it moved to DVDs and, like Mike was saying, there were video games and stuff like that. But you eventually. Get recommendations. That's yeah, what yeah. I was. That's what I wanted to talk about. So I whenever you go to the front, the no, no. Whenever you go to the front, and you would always have the super cool, super chill guy working there. Sometimes they were dicks, but sometimes they were cool, and they let you know what was coming up. And that's where you get into the yeah, idea like Katie, of where man, huh? we heard all the cool movies that we end up finding out was always word of mouth from the nerd behind the stand. You know, if you really like this movie, you, you need to really, really check really out Four like Rooms. Like it's yeah. legit. So Four yeah, Rooms, yeah, you got Candyman. Here. I see that. Hey, bro, thanks for the subway. Here's your, yeah. here's your bag of weed. Bro. Here's your fucking half ounce. <laughs> But so, but there was always was that guy. Dirty. There was always that guy who recommended Thanks the movies, that. and that's as we adopted that too because we did the same thing with our friends. We'd go like, "Hey man, did you ever see the movie Idle Hands?" Like we were talking about the yes. other day. Yeah, hey man, did you ever see The Babysitter? Like you said, there's always that one person who has the recommendation. So it's still alive. The idea of the cult movie of being able to find a film that you know somebody else is going to love and oh, having that yeah. little bit of Evil street Dead. cred. Absolutely. Evil Dead, we The Big Lebowski, the uh, what other movies? I mean, just Are anything. Dark, I, saw, I was going to say, I yeah, saw yeah, R.I.R. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I saw the fucking, uh, the ad for it, every goddamn yeah. comic book yeah. that I got, there was a picture of Bruce Campbell in there with the yeah. fucking painted scene with the goddamn tr- the chainsaw and fucking shotgun. But it also had the best cover art ever with the skeleton. That's what I'm saying. Like, like oh it was the same guy who did, like, the yeah. fucking, terrifying. Uh, uh, the Fabio book covers, like for the romance novels, which were directly across oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. from the rented videos inside of a Kroger or anywhere else. <laughs> I think that's uh, the Fabian Nietzsche. Yeah, no, yeah I'm man. No, I'm it's, kidding. He's the Magic the Gathering. No, guy, it's so Fabian Nietzsche. <laughs> but but the idea of the cult movie um, <laughs> comes from this: the sharing of a film that is is barely known. And now, it's not as prevalent now. There's so many options. There's so many movies that we can watch. So when Jake suggested The Babysitter, that's whenever I was like, that's just like the cult movie. So what is the idea of modern cult? Where are we going to experience that? How is that going to come to us? Netflix. It is. The big thing is Netflix. It is. Hulu. And Netflix is giving us a ton of content. If you really want to go super cult, Amazon. Because fuck that shit. Nobody has it. I've got I got, I got, I got a free account to watch yeah. season three of Twin Peaks, and that was it. And I right. immediately discontinued it. Kind of the same way with um, The Witch, mm-hmm. also. Right. Y'all didn't. Was y'all didn't see old. that. I, I, I kinda... wanted more goat. Oh, Black Phillip. Oh, oh Black Phillip. Yeah. 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 I yeah. fucking love that movie. They, uh, oh we did God. like almost a whole fucking yeah. episode. Oh, all oh, this yeah. shit. Black Phillip was bringing the so, pain. The thing about Netflix is. They put out so much, so content. much content. It's hard to keep up because you spend 30 minutes just looking through mm-hmm. descriptions right, right. of shit. Like, right. you're like, well, do I want to watch this? Like and then, you, and then at the same time, you're passing by shit that you haven't seen in a while. Also, right. you're like, oh, I love this movie. Right. Well, let's see what else is on here. Mm-hmm. And then it's, ah, cool it's just like, it's, uh, well, I heard really good things about this fucking movie. Let's see what this is. And then it's like, well, we're given too many options. It makes us less it's able like to make a decision. Doing. But at like, the same truly. time, this is where we get the idea of the modern cult. Recommendations, like you were saying. And this is the way it goes. Even with viral videos and things like that. You mentioned the P. Diddy on Ellen thing. We hadn't seen that, which yeah. was hysterical. <laughs> um, things like that. It's still The nerds are still coming to each other and going, Hey, have you seen this? This is super cool. That same aspect of having that little bit of street cred where you could go, Oh man, I saw this fucked up movie last week. You should totally watch it. Yes. Oh yeah, bro, what's it about? And then you tell them that's still there. It's not the same because the medium has changed. And I, but I think there is a lot more content out there now. So yeah. it will become much more niche. How can you keep up with it all? Even though it's always okay. out there. Because you're being recommended so many things by all of your social media right. outlets. They're but saying, that's if the you like this, you will like this. But yeah. you're getting excluded from content from other people because 
It's turning on an algorithm. Uh, so recommendations. <laughs> I want to go through them real quick that uh, you might want to uh, people to see. Well, we'll start with Mike. Mike, I want to suggest some movies you want people to see that that this word of mouth might help. Something that Bro, is rare. Watch Kill List. What is Kill List? Ben Wheatley directed Kill List. Uh, ben Wheatley and Amy Jump wrote it. There are hints it's a horror movie from the beginning, but you're not going to think about that until about an hour in. I watched it on Netflix a mm-hmm. few years ago. Uh, he's also done a High Rise, which is an adaptation of the oh, okay. novel of yeah, with uh, Loki from, uh, what's the name? Yes, Hillston. Uh, man, but Kill List. Uh, and Sightseers, <coughs> also by Ben Whitley, uh, is about a guy who's a serial killer who meets a uh, spinster in training and they fall in love and they go off in this caravan and have this adventure and uh, man, it gets fucking crazy. Check it out. What do you think, Jake? One of the latest independent movies that I watched that I was kind of surprised by, uh, The Bad Batch. It's on Netflix. Oh, is that a Momoa? So what's that about? I saw of it. It's a post-apocalyptic... Uh, what? That's what Momoa, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. I see the trailer. Yes. I like how we're on a one-name basis Momoa. with Jason Momoa. First of all, Jason Momoa. Momoa. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Momoa. So, oh, okay. Idris, El- uh, Idris Elba. So, yeah, we had a chance to fuck him, too. Jesus. <laughs> he was like, you got a single? Yeah, we weren't there at the same time, but I mean, he asked us separately. No, we were. Yeah. So what's it about? Um, post-apocalyptic universe, kind of Mad Max-ish. There's this chick. It, it's cannibalistic wasteland. Well, the, it's about this chick. She gets her fucking arm taken off by cannibals and her leg taken off by cannibals, but she survives. She makes her way through the fucking desert. It's fucking insane. It's a very uh, Jim Carrey is in it. Does what it, doesn't doesn't that. say Damn a word. fucking word throughout the entire fucking movie, but he does a great performance. Nice. It's a really it's an underground movie. Um, I'm watching that tonight. You really should. I remember seeing uh, the It's not Jim like Carrey, he's unrecognizable. It's not great. But I'll tell you what, I'll put it on the same level as like Requiem for a Dream, oh, dude, nice. where it's like everybody wants to watch the movie, and you watch it, and you'll see it still, even if it comes on, but it's one of those, it's a slow burn oh. fucking movie, because there's a lot of twists and turns in the consequences of every action. In the but movie. here's the thing, film, film enjoyment is subjective, you know what I mean? I like different movies for different reasons, or if a movie, if it speaks to me, not every movie's going to be the greatest movie I ever saw. Was The Babysitter the greatest movie I ever fucking saw? No. No. But Hands was it an enjoyable not. hour and a half long movie? It Hell fun. yeah, it yes. was. I did not feel ripped off. Yeah, yeah. No. once again, I was it in was time well spent. Time. Exactly. And B, oof. Yes. Yeah. All right, Javi. Let's see, uh, let's, uh, I would suggest Brain Donors. 1990, John Turturro, the guy that ran the pin of despair from, uh, shit, Princess Bride. I remember this guy, this fucking Latin American, he's like, oh, have you seen Brain Donors? I was like, no. It, it's funny, you'll like it. It starts the guy like, the pin of I don't, even, uh, uh, I don't even think about trying to escape. He's like that guy. He was in it. And I remember seeing this movie. He's like, holy shit, this movie's fucking hilarious. And whenever I was about four or five when I first saw it, and nobody's ever heard of it to this day, I've I never know this fucking come movie. across a movie that anybody's ever seen this. And I just, one thing that sticks in my head is uh, John Turturro, he's giving uh, oxygen to a guy that suffered a head injury. He goes, Can you say this with me? Ethan, 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 yeah. Ethan. I was like, This is fucking great. It was just John Turturro. I like Jesus from The Big Lebowski in this movie. Highly recommend if you can find it, Brain Dump. Let's not forget that he plays uh, Pete and Oh Brother War Thou. Like, the guy is a uh, uh, Coen Brothers favorite. He really is. Uh, Barton Fink he is mm-hmm. in there. There you go. Anything Coen Brothers. If you haven't yeah. seen it, watch yeah. it. Like, yeah, watch anything Coen Brothers. I liked everyone hated Hell Caesar. I thought it was fucking great. I, so I, I, I was never, not a fan of Hell Caesar. I was like, it's I think funny. that was they were trying to get too Coen for the Coen Brothers. Dude, it was um, hilarious. So, so they're, they're trying to outcome the Coen. Well, it, in a good way, uh, the Grand Best uh, Grand Budapest Motel Hotel is uh, the most Wes Anderson movie, movie yeah. out of every Wes Anderson really movie, is. and he fucking he nailed it though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, All right, I want to suggest uh, Turbo Kid, which you can watch. Yes. The yes. movie was awesome. It is Mad Max on a bicycle. Love uh, and there is a robot, and it looks like our friend Shannon Trim. And I love her. Yes. It does. It looks just yeah. like Shannon Trim. I don't yes. know what to say. We were watching it the whole time. We're going, Wait, it's Shannon. My sister. Yeah. Not my sister, yeah. my sister. Yeah. So uh, the other, another thing, if you've never seen, there's a documentary called The Push. It's a weird fucking documentary where they put this guy into a weird social situation. 
They film him, and as the night progresses, Darren Brown. It is. I think it is Darren yeah. Brown. Yeah. And at the end of the, the night, they're supposed to. At the end of the night, they're yeah. supposed to be able to convince yeah. this guy into pushing somebody off the side of a building. Yeah. And that's the whole idea of the documentary. And it's a real guy. He came in. They just slowly. They put him as a lobster in a pot. They just slowly. Raise the the water temperature slowly and slowly until they get to the point where he's went along with everything that they've requested him. They're manipulating him hardcore, and at the end of it, they ask him to push somebody off of a roof. And what happens Holy at the shit. end is crazy. Okay, does he do it? So I guess you're gonna have to watch it. Um, anything else you guys would suggest people watch? Uh, I've been watching this really awesome show called <laughs> Shit's Creek. On is it Netflix. good? That yeah, show I've been is saying fucking that. hilarious. Okay, it's I'll not, check it's, it out. It's made by Chris you, Elliott. Chris Elliott said it. It's uh, made and directed by Eugene Levy, and it's oh, I think I it's, it's about this rich family that gets caught up in some scandal and they lose everything. Oh, and they and the father just starts saying, "Oh, we're gonna lose my family, we're gonna lose my family." And he finds that he owns this town in Pennsylvania called Shit's Creek. Yeah, I was I lived there. Which Chris did you uh, really? Chris Elliott plays. But they kept saying we were up Shit Creek all the time, <laughs> so I guess I lived there. <laughs> but they're like. Mom, Dad, where we live? Well, you don't need to know the name. We're living up shit. We literally creek. were not allowed to play in the creek down back because it was a shit creek. So oh. I guess I lived there. And we guess who played it? <laughs> guess, guess who played in the stinky mud more than once in their life? Just saying. Oh, mud duck. Yeah, that's why I'm probably not right in the head. And I eat <laughs> and I ate paint chips. Oh. I didn't know that was a thing, but yeah, we used to. Hey, those. asshole! Yeah. They don't put lead in paint anymore. <laughs> you can stop eating them. Yeah, but the house was built in like 1820, so. Yeah, but I'm just saying, you don't live there anymore. You have to. You don't have to keep nope. eating paint chips. Nope, love them. <laughs> they sell them at the Walmart down there. It's, it's delicious. <laughs> and hey, I get it's name your own flavor. <laughs> paint chips, salted paint chips. And I get the dip that's made out of 100 percent pure arsenic. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. Mm. Good. What we do in the shadows. Oh yes. yeah, what we do in the yeah, shadows. I still haven't seen that. I really yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. Really you just it. mentioned that you like Christopher Guest uh, style movies. This is 100 percent a Christopher it's Guest movie. Yes. yes. If you have not seen what we do in the shadows, definitely watch that fucking movie. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. Well, anyhow, yeah. y'all, I'm gonna wind this down because it's hot as hell in here. I want to turn yes. the AC. So, uh, anyhow, definitely uh, check out our YouTube at Quack Attack 5000. <laughs> check out our videos. Uh, and listen to more podcasts on the Quack Attack 5000 network. If you want to send us an email, it would be quackattack5000 at gmail.com. This has been Duck. I've been here with. Hi. And. Jake. And our special guest. Mike. And we appreciate you listening. Please, we'll check you out next week. Take care.